hello beautiful people welcome to the channel so on my previous video i did this uh, i built this app using getx a very simple one which was a counter app and then we did a slightly more complex which was an app that has firebase authentication and all of that using provider but one of you guys suggested that i build something like a shopping cart using flutter and integrating a payment system into it i thought the idea was super good so on this video this is what we are going to build let me give you guys a small overview of the app you will have at the end of the video because it's a very long video so as you guys can see i can log out of the app and i call it sneaks uh, basically it's a shopping app where we sell sneakers that was the idea by the way so obviously you have authentication you have uh, let me sign in as one of the users I mean, actually, let me create a new user from scratch so that you guys can see the process, the whole process. So after we have created the user, this is what we have kind of a home page or home screen. And obviously you can see here the user credentials and you can log out if you wish to do so. But what's important about this app is that you can click here to view your shopping cart. At the moment, we have nothing. That's why the shopping cart is empty. Let's add one of these products. So we have here a snack bar telling us that the shop cart, shopping cart has a product now. And if you click on it, you can see. And here you can see the total um, value that you'll pay at checkout. If you add another product, for example, you have here that our product now is added to our shopping cart and if you do this we have here the total amount that you're going to pay right what's cool is if i try to add this product again it will tell us to check our cart because this product is already added to our cart and nothing is going to happen here good so um Another thing that we have to do here is to integrate a payment system. I was thinking of doing Stripe or maybe another payment API. I don't know. It depends on what you guys want to learn. And I wanted to do everything on a singular video. But the problem is that only f for this much, the video is like hours long. And I didn't want to drag it any longer. So I will just publish this and uh, shortly we'll create a payment system. You, you guys can suggest uh, which type of API you guys want to use. The only problem with Stripe is that the majority of countries do not support Stripe yet, but we can still do Stripe and uh, any other payment system is a, a valid option as well. If you guys uh, think that you may enjoy watching things like this, consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, thank you guys for watching. You can drop that like and let's get straight to it. All note guys if you are new to get x if you don't really know how it works i would highly suggest for you to first go and watch this video which is building two apps with get x and firebase this is super beginner friendly and uh, i will pass the basic concepts and we are going to use those concepts to build our shopping app so if you never used get x or if you don't think you are very comfortable using it first pause come and watch this video it will take like five ten minutes for you to understand and you can continue watching the shopping cart app now to save us a bit of time i already created a starting template which has the login screen the registration screen home screen and the shopping cart screens other thing that we have here is firebase authentication already working right and we did that on that previous project where you have the link in the description now how do you make this project work with your firebase first of all go to the source code uh, starting template branch and you have to download this starting template right here we only have firebase authentication and the screens nothing else right after you have downloaded you'll have something similar to this what you want to do actually is coming here and deleting the google.json file right it's located inside of android app and you delete it from there another thing you'll want to do is open the manifest file and copy the package name after you have created your own firebase project you can come and register your app using that package name right and after you have done that you just have to download the new google.json file 
you have to do nothing else just download the google.json file come replace this one delete this one and replace it with the one you got from your own firebase project right here inside of firebase you'll have to authenticate uh, to enable uh, sign in with email inside of authentication obviously to have it working you have to enable cl uh, cloud fire store and you have to enable firebase storage now how to get the images for the product that's very easy because inside of the code you downloaded from github you have this images folder you can just come here select all of the images and upload them to firebase now here inside of firebase what you want to do is to actually create the products collection manually just create a new collection call it products and inside of this we are going to populate with the products right how to generate the id and just create this field here for the images just come here copy this link and paste that as the link as the image of the product and the remaining fields the field must be the same but you can have here any brand any value you can name it the way you think it's better for your app but basically you have to do this for all of the pictures that you have on your your database basically Now, considering you guys already uh, created all of the project, the products here inside of Firebase, we have our products collection and here we have the respective products. What we are going to do now is getting these products in our app. Note that we must get the products as a stream so that when the product price or something changes here, the change will automatically be reflected on our application. now um doing that is not very hard what we need to do first uh you already have this because this was included inside of the template code and if you do not understand this code make sure to check the link in the description for the video um with the title building apps with get x because that's where we actually create this code here and uh, you'll have the chance to understand that but with that out of the way what we want to do here is we are going to create a new Dart file and call it product controller. And this is how you name your files, not like this. Now in here, we are going to import get because we are using get and let's create our controller so the very first thing we are going to do here inside of our products controller is to create an instance of um, get find and basically this will return our controller and then we are going to define a list of products, right? And these are the products that are going to be displayed on the app, which are of the type Rx list because this is an observable and we want our products to change how, how they are displayed when something changes on the database. And now we have the name of the collection we intend to access. 
Right. Uh, another thing we are going to do here is we want to populate our products as soon as we open the app. So we want to override the on ready method. Uh, to make that possible, we, we will bind our products list here to a stream. And now let's create this, that stream. The name of the stream or is going to be get all products. And in here we have it is a stream uh, that, that's going to return a list of product models. In here, we're going to call our Firebase Firestore and we define this inside of the constants. And then here we have to specify the collection that we want to access. We want to access the snapshots inside of the collection and we want to map everything inside of our snapshot. This is going to give us a query snapshot. Let's call it query. And now uh, we will access the documents of that query snapshot and we are going to map all of the documents that we, we have access to. Inside of our method here of our map method, we have another function which takes a query uh, document snapshot, right? And uh, this is going to be, is going to return a product model from from map we already defined this item dot data which is going to be a map and uh, since we want a list we will have here dot to list basically this method will allow us to listen to our products on the database and automatically update if something changes on the database And now what we have to do is to register our controller here on our main.dart file so that we can access the controller anywhere inside of our app. Okay, this should do the trick. Now let's actually display our controller inside of our app. Uh, to do that, let's go to our home screen and open our products widget. And uh, we are going to implement our logic there. So here we have our products. If you see here, we are loading them manually as for now but we are going to improve this. First things first, let me come here and uh, where we have controller. Okay, now back to our, our products widget. Instead of loading our products manually here, we are going to use our controller. Um, so guys, if you run the app, this is what you get a blank screen, which is not what we are expecting. So let's take care of this. Now coming back to our products widget here, um, let's change this. So now we are importing get and um, 
here let's call products controller and if you remember we defined this inside of constants and now one last thing to be done here is let's wrap our grid view So we are wrapping our grid view inside of OBX. If we come back to our app, we still have this. And we had another error here. Uh, but that, that I know what's the problem here now. I, the issue here is that it's very simple to fix actually. When I was creating this, uh, do you guys remember how we had um, our images here? But our images were asset images and now we are dealing with network images. That's why you're having the error just change assets to network image and uh, reload. So if you do that quick modification changing image.asset to image.networks, your application will work perfectly, right? Uh, we are going to stop this tutorial here because I don't want to make it extra long, but uh, soon, I think the day after tomorrow, I'll have the second part of this, which is already recorded. I'll just uh, upload another day. I hope you guys enjoyed this. See you guys on the next one, where we are going to actually add products to our cart. Bye.